May the 4th be with you guys. Today is my dad's birthday. He's 75. Today would have been my parents' 53rd wedding anniversary if my mom had lived. And I called my dad to wish him a happy birthday and I said it that way. I said it would have been. And he goes, to me it's not would have been. It is our 53rd wedding anniversary. So I think he's feeling a type of way. So my little video helped the video that I made yesterday helped because one of my faithful viewers, Jen, hey Jen, she came and purchased one of the bags and I'm so grateful for that because every little bit counts right now and um, yeah, I, I really feel like God told me to do that, to make that video and I had fun, Joe, I had fun doing it. It just flowed out of me because normally when I'm doing the cooking channel or even the review channel I have to do like certain retakes of what I want to say because sometimes I kind of ramble on and babble or maybe I eat my words but um, that one it just kept flowing and I just showed my bags and I was moving I said oh Joe I'm gonna go apply for um, HSN here yeah? okay. I'm gonna apply for a job at HSN, yeah, HSN. Oh. Home Shopping Network. I know a lady that used to work either at HSN or QVC, I forget which one. She's the white lady in some of the openings with me. She quit her job there after a lucrative career because she said she was tired of the people getting ripped off. The people who were selling their products, they would go there and let's say you sell 50,000 wigs or 50,000 of your dresses, you would get maybe two cents and that channel would make all the money. And she got tired of that so she quit so I would just be a host though I would get paid a salary well I have something that I want to share with you guys so I got called in to the um, medical office because you guys know we get medical and um, they're questioning me about monies that was reported to them in my name I'm like, where the money at though? And so they said the money was reported by Google. And so I showed them all my income. I went back and printed off my little $457 because it's all I make. You know, around Thanksgiving, Christmas, I might make $700. And I said, this is all I've made. I've, I've, not, I've not been lying. I've, I've showed all the income that I, that I have here. Are you sitting? You know what these people told me? That I have stocks. S-T-O-C-K-S. Stocks in Google. Dividends. Royalties. Residual. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm like, girl, where? Girl, why? Where? <laughs> you guys want to hear how much it is? Joe, should I tell them? Joseph tell them because we don't have it. Six thousand nine hundred and something dollars. I'm like, where? I don't have this. And they're like, yes, it's been reported to us that you have this. Who I was in Target. I felt like I was in front of Moeller. I was like, what? No, I don't have this. And so they're like, you better go to Google. <laughs> you better go to Google and find out where the money at. It's been that kind of day, guys. I've been putting out fires. Joshua, check on that bread for me. Josh, yeah, check on the bread, mean, take it out. Okay. It's done, I just flipped it over to bake the bottom. Be careful, don't get burned, hold the clot, get two clot. I shouldn't have to tell him these things, right? I'm my supervisor. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about Google. I have no way of getting in touch with Google, so I will not be able to get any proof to show these people that I don't have stocks and dividends in Google. I'm going to make a video and I'm going to say, fellow YouTubers, do you have stocks or dividends in Google? Because I know I don't have none. $6,900 they go report on me? They crazy. They better give me that $6,900 so I could stop being broke and poor. So anyways, went over to the United Rental Place after I already booked the thing. They told me to follow out for this account. They didn't say they were going to run any credit check or anything. Just follow out for this. What? Okay, we have to go to U-Haul now, guys. But let me quickly tell you. Get down there, they're like, it didn't get approved. I'm like, you guys didn't tell me you're going to run my credit or anything like that. You should tell me these type of things because I wouldn't have filled out for it if that were the case, right? So I'm like, whatever. 
she's like, you need $300. I don't have no $300. So we went to Home Depot and we put down $250. The girl over there was so sweet. What was her name again, Josh? Karima. Yeah. Karima was such a darling. She made it such an enjoyable occasion. I did not even mind giving her my 250 bucks. So I put, I got some money from Jada. I put it down. So tomorrow when we take the, comp the not the compressor, what do you think, the generator? When we take the generator back, you're gonna charge me $74 out the 250. Give me the difference. Give back Jada her money. You pay the $74 and we're good. So that fires out. Now we're going for the U-Haul trailer. Joe won't talk about pocket on the street. I'm like, the people will come with the tools. Joshua said, these people have tools that, that's called steel, tail, steel, steel trailer tools. <laughs> I'm like, no, we're going to back it up into the garage door and trap it with some cars. So the phone's ringing. Anyways, let's go to U-Haul, guys. Let's go to U-Haul. It's going to be worthwhile. I think just the fact that we're new, that we're going to be jamming some good music, that um, we're going to have that landscape backdrop with the superheroes. Uh, maybe all we need are some balloons. You know what I mean, Joe? So I told her, wait, come home first. Bring that thing over. Let us go get it. And then Joe will take a look and we'll start figuring out what we're going to do with this thing on the trailer. Because it's tomorrow, guys. It's down to the wire now. Thank you, Jesus. I have the generator. It's in the house. So, or in the garage. or but It's in the, in, it's in the veranda, right? In the porch. So um, nobody can steal it out the truck. Now we're gonna go get the trailer. This is garage sale weekend in my town. You can only do garage sale four weekends out of the year. And whoever was on the city council that planned this foolishness did not plan or anticipate that this was gonna be garage sale weekend. You know what? I should put up a table and sell my stuff. I could do that. Joe, let's go put a big yellow sign on the lamppost down the street and put homemade bags for sale and sell. Huh? We don't do that Sunday. This is garage sale weekend. You don't need a permit and you can have a garage sale, but you can only have it on the weekends that are designated. So this kind of sucks. <laughs> I was talking to my friend Lisa on the phone a while ago about my take on Trump and everything that's going on. Stormy Daniels, Rudy Giuliani, Melania. I was just giving her my take, my little insights. I don't know none of this to be fact. This is just what we talk at the kitchen table. And I was calling these people by different names like Roger Stone was the albino assassin Mitch, McC Mitch McConnell was bitch McConnell and um, Sarah Suckabee Sanders was Shrek and I got all this stuff going on and she was peeing her pants she said you have a new series of videos you gotta put on the vlog channel and it's gonna be my take on Trump but in Creole so I'm sorry a lot of American people will not understand what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to bring up that man name for it. They come and investigate me. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired, guys. I'm hungry. I made some sourdough bread, just two loaves. And Joe had some chicken that he cooked today. And I'm just really wiped out. I was going to have some food cooked for whoever's coming tomorrow. But everybody started canceling on me. So whatever. Whatever. Afterwards, you go go buy a, a Costco pizza or something. Although I can't eat it. Oh, my God. Did I tell Popeye? Who can afford any Popeye? <laughs> Did I tell you guys about the A2 milk, Helen? I bought the A2 milk. It was expensive as heck. Four forty. Four forty-nine for one quart. Took eight ounces last night, and when I tell you nausea, nausea until I got cold seed. What Helen call it? Cold chills. I got cold seed goosebumps. Just was like, what's wrong? I said, oh, the nausea is so bad. Oh my god, it was bad. It was bad for about two hours. And then the swelling went down from my gut and it wore off. I'm like, okay, can't do A2 milk. Tracy, I want to make this, this, the what do you call the thing? The almond milk. But the almonds were 10 bucks at Costco. Yes, it was a big bag. And the, pr the not the prunes, I want to put dates in it to sweeten it. The dates were like nine bucks for the tub. I'm like, that's what, $17 already? And I still haven't made no milk yet. But it would have made a lot though. I would have made, I could have made several batches out of it. So in the long run, it'll be cheaper, but and I'll do it, I'll do it, but I'm gonna go to like Food for Less and buy a smaller bag of each, test it out, see if I like it, and then after that, I'll scrape up money to go buy the, the two big bags of the, um, the dates and the almond milk. And we'll go from there, because I really need milk. I like milk, I like milk, and none of the milks are, are, um, are working right now for me. They're horrible. And I can't do the coconut milk that's in the carton because the doctor said that's high in fat and that will kill me if I have gallbladder issues. 
Wish me luck. Oh, I found this on the ground. You know how it's superheroes? I found this on the ground and I just thought this was very foretelling that we're going to win tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to win. You know, there's a blessing in this wrestling. Every time you try to do something great, slam it, boo. Every time he slams the door, it knocks out the sound. Every time you try to do something great, okay, Joe, you're going to get attacked. You're going to get attacked by the enemy. You remember when we came here the other day with a run inside Kai Cole, right? Remember? We had on Jackie with a run inside the Kai Cole, our teeth chattering. And all today. right there right wood auto sales huh they work here see all right there see the Belizean right there all right we found the Belizean I told you that guy was Belizean I could see it in his face you could tell Belizeans by their cheekbones or something in the cheekbones so um the guy that was taking care of us is Francisco and he's all Joseph, who owned that red Tahoe out there with a the Belize flag? And he goes, are you guys Belizean? And Joe says, yeah. And he goes, okay, let me get my manager and his cousin. And the guys came and they were so nice. The, the manager did not know who I was, but the cousin was like, I know you. I'm like, yeah, from YouTube. And so he's like, Miss Bear Pantry. You know, that's what they call me, right? When people meet me in the street, Miss Bear Pantry. So it was just like a big reunion with people that we don't even know. And he was so excited and so proud. And you know what? Favor, favor. This is how this day is turning out to be so far. It's favor. Hey, they like one carry the recipe that engraved, you know, that not fair to we. So what happens when you die? Uh huh. I said, because my sister is in there, don't like to cook. Mm -hmm. I said, and I do. See? And you know, I have all the Belize stuff there. Over 100 release recipe I have there, or no? Because I, I want a little help to make the oxtail. I was just talking to my cousin. Yeah, the oxtail is the man. Need an adapter for it. Open up the door from my uh, from the front side. I'm passing this side. So we come over here, ask who the Billy Zen person is. The young man showed us the two cousins. One of them is a manager. David was just hired. He's the one that recognized me from the Bear Pantry show. His wife is going to be floored that he met me. She won't believe. So I said, take pictures. So we have the trailer back there now. It's starting to get exciting now, guys. It really is. So I'm going home. Tell me if this phone did. To see if I have to eat something, though. I haven't eaten in a long time. Do you want the last time we eat? Borong 10? 11? Oh, yeah. <sighs> haven't eaten in a while. All right, guys, I will see you when Leah comes over because we got to get this thing done.